Suppose you like an apple twice as much as an orange, and an orange three times as much as a banana. Logically, you should like an apple six times as much as a banana. When you are presented to compare an apple and a banana, and if you do not like an apple six times as much as a banana, then obviously there is an inconsistency in your preference. Consistency ratio measures such inconsistency. The higher this number is, the more inconsistent you are. According to Thomas L. Sahati, the consistency ratio should be less or equal to 0.1. Consistency ratio is a metric that indicates the consistency between pairwise comparisons. SpiceLogic AHP software calculates the consistency ratio metric in addition to the priority vector. If your consistency ratio goes over 0.1, the software will indicate that using a red bold color, as you could see on this screen. Now, I will show you the mathematics behind the consistency ratio. In order to calculate the consistency ratio, you need to have the pairwise comparison matrix and the calculated priority vector. This column is the priority vector column. Now, we need to calculate the principal eigenvalue. Let's do that in Maple. First, define the matrix for pairwise comparison. Then, define the matrix for the priority vector. Now, multiply the pairwise comparison matrix with the priority vector. Once we get the multiplication result, we need to element-wise divide the result by the priority vector. After the element-wise division, we got a new vector. We can get the principal eigenvalue by averaging the elements of this vector. Okay. Here we have obtained our principal eigenvalue. Now we will find out the consistency index. The formula for the consistency index is shown here. Now let's plug the values into the formula. Okay, we got the consistency index. AHP calculates a consistency ratio comparing the consistency index of the matrix versus the consistency index of a random matrix. A random matrix is a matrix where the judgments have been entered randomly. Therefore, it's expected to be highly inconsistent. Thomas L. Soddy provided the calculated random-like matrix value for matrices of different sizes. Here is the table of random index based on the number of items. In our case, the number of criteria is 3, so our random index is 0.58. Finally, we can get the consistency ratio by dividing the consistency index by this random index. The result is 0 0.0747. Notice that in the SpiceLogic AHP software, for this given matrix and priority vector, we got the same consistency ratio value. The transitivity rule is a rule that basically means that your judgment must be consistent. Imagine, in that way, you can reduce the number of pairwise comparisons dramatically. So, if you have a lot of criteria, it is better to enforce the transitivity rule to keep things consistent and save time by performing a few pairwise comparisons. Please do not hesitate to contact us at spicelogic.com. Thank you for watching.